detached pair of Purdy shotguns made in 1938 together with the original brass bound case. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is starting off at 50,000. 50,000 like this. 50,000 like this. 2 presentation on BBC Two shortly is Old Flames by Simon Gray, starring Stephen Fry and Simon Callow as a pair of public school contemporaries who become the target of an ingenious conspiracy. Well, to enable us to provide comprehensive coverage of the latest developments in the Gulf, we've slightly rearranged the rest of the evening here on BBC One. The news in a moment is followed at half past nine by the first in the new series of That's Life. Mastermind also embarks on a new series at ten past ten to find back the super brain of 1991. At 10.40, every man follows the final days of a young woman facing death from leukemia who was able to prepare her family and friends for the final party. We've more news from the Gulf at 20 past 11, after which the new Secretary of State for Education talks to Clean Slate. At midnight, Patrick Moore scans the sky at night. And then to round off the evening at 20 past midnight with another update on news in the Gulf. So now to our main news of the evening for which we join Michael Burke. This is BBC One. It's nine o'clock. Saddam Hussein says Iraq is not beaten yet. From his bunker in Baghdad, he says only a fraction of his air forces have been used so far. He parades captive Allied airmen. Two of them, the Iraqis say, are an RAF tornado crew. And tonight, Iraq fires two scuds at Saudi Arabia, but both are destroyed by American Patriot missiles. 